Hello, little artists. My name is Miss Erin and I'm from Makers and I'm so excited to be here with you today. You must have gone to the library and visited my most favorite librarians, Miss Peggy and Miss Natalie. And I'm sure they told you about this summer's reading program, Tales and Tales. One of my favorite books is called A Lion and a Mouse by Jerry Pinky. I think you can get that with, from Miss Peggy or Miss Natalie. And one of my other most favorite books is Mr. Tiger Goes Wild by Peter Brown. And those two books got me thinking that it might be really fun for us to do a lion project together. Okay, so one of the first things you'll wanna do is set up your space. I recommend spreading out a bunch of newspaper, maybe an old tablecloth, something you don't mind getting messy. You might even wanna do this outside. And you'll also wanna grab a pair of scissors, a scrap piece of paper, and if you happen to have Elmer's glue and a small bowl, even a Tupperware lid, these two might come in handy, but they're not necessary. I'm gonna move my camera down now so you can see what to do. Now, the first thing you'll wanna grab from the bag are our cardboard shapes. These are what we'll use to make our lion. You can, your child can build your lion however they like, but this is what I was envisioning. And now you can either glue it down if you want or your child can paint them separately. That's a choice totally up to you. The next step will be the paint. You'll need your paint, paintbrush, and this is when your scrap paper will come in. Now this paintbrush I'm giving you is a foam brush. It's just like a sponge. So anytime you dip it in water, it's going to suck all that water out and then make this paint really watery. I don't recommend that you use water. I recommend we use a messy mat instead. So what that means is once we choose a color and we start painting, when we want to switch colors, we'll just wipe our paintbrush here on this piece of paper until it start, stops making marks and then we can choose the next color. Now these paints have already been mixed with a little bit of glue, which will help everything stick. These are all warm colors. I'm gonna just take the lids off. And I'm setting mine on my lion. You could do that, you don't have to. And then we're going to paint. I don't know if you've noticed, but the goopier, the better. Now this black paint here, I only you only need a little bit and I recommend you use the black at the very, very end. I'm just making my nose black. Honestly, you don't even really, really need it, but just in case, I'm just dabbing it out and then I'll spread it around with my paintbrush. But once you put black on, it's really easy for black to accidentally get everywhere else. So I would, Give them, if you want a black nose, make a black nose and then probably move the paintbrush away so that they're not tempted to use it anymore. I mentioned there's a bit of glue already mixed with the paint. If you have, a little, if you have your own Elmer's glue, now is a time where you can go ahead and use it. But if you don't, I think if you just glob some paint underneath, it will stick perfectly fine. And then I'm gonna glue my pieces together. Voila. Now is the time for decoration. Okay, so we have some of this shredded paper. Your kids can cut this and put this on your lion. kind of cut it right over it, sprinkle it around. In our materials kit, we have a lot of different textures. We have two eyeballs. We have tissue paper. Tissue paper is really fun because they could tear it. 
if you'd like. You can crumple it if you'd like, or even cut it. There's some burlap. We have some fun yarn. Some orange yarn. Some pipe cleaners. Maybe they want to wrap them around their fingers. You can try sticking them into the side of the cardboard. Or if you wanted to glue them, just add a smidge more glue. They're a little bit heavy, so either glob on more paint or stick some glue in there. And you can kind of slide them right underneath. Put a bit of glue. Now, these beads, this is where your small bowl will come in really handy. If you don't have a small bowl, you can just pour them into your hand and your child can kind of pick them up and sprinkle them around. If you do have a bowl though, it's kind of a nice place to keep them. You can fill the bowl up. And then we like to use our pincher fingers, kind of like we're adding seasoning to our dinner. Okay. We also have glitter. Now when I'm using this, I recommend you cut off a corner of the packet just a little triangle to leave a little opening. And then same thing, you can kind of pour it in your hand and then they use their pincher fingers. And there you go. I hope you have so much fun making your lions. And next time you're in the library, say hi to Miss Natalie or Miss Peggy for me. Bye.